I'm Michael King, and I'm a solutions consultant at Inflow Technology. I'm here to help you get started on Deso Systems 3D Experience Platform. The 3D Experience Platform is a central location for all your users to collaborate and work on the same data. Each user, whether internal or external to your company, must be invited through the platform management tool. This is where the administrator assigns each user appropriate roles and apps. Now, to add users to the platform, you need administrative rights on your tenant. Let's head over to the Platform Management tool. When you first launch this tool, it will start out showing basic information about your tenant. You'll find things like existing members, roles, pending requests, and how much storage your organization has on the platform. Since we are dealing with adding users, you're gonna jump over to the Members tab. Now this is where the magic happens. From here, you're going to set up and control access to your platform. You're gonna determine who has access and what they have access to. To invite a new user, click this button. We'll go ahead and add their email. We can set some options for their user rights. In this dropdown, we can select if the new user is a member an administrator, or an external user. This external user setting allows us to collaborate with users outside of our organization. Next, we will select the location or leave it as default. If you would like, you can enter a message that will be included in the invitation email that's sent to the new user. After that, go ahead and click next. Now, we'll go ahead and assign this user some roles that they need. Now, roles are those items that you can purchase to access certain application or functionality on the 3D Experience platform. If you need additional roles, uh, make sure you contact your account manager. They can get you the roles you need right away. Also, check out the videos on our 3D Experience landing page. Uh, it's listed in the description of this video. You can go there to find out more about the roles and apps that might be important to your organization. On this next screen, if there are any add-ins or applications that are available, you can assign them to the user that's being created. For this user, they're going to be a SolidWorks user, so we can go ahead and add the SolidWorks add-in. To finish up, we're going to go ahead and click Invite. Now this is going to automatically send the user an invitation email that contains pertinent information and a link to your platform. Let's jump over and take a look at what the new user will receive they get this invitation to log in with their 3D Passport, or they can create a new one from scratch. The 3D Passport is a login that can be utilized across many of the Deso Systems products. Your new user may already have an account if they've logged into the SolidWorks customer portal. If not, they can create a new account right from the invite. Now, once the user logs in, they'll see the welcome dashboard and be greeted with a pop-up that walks them through the control. If you missed the last video, don't forget to check that out. We went over creating your first dashboard and setting up some of the apps and getting things started. With all your users on the same tenant, it's quick and easy to collaborate and share data. With the Deso Systems 3D Experience platform, it's easier than ever to get every user working together with the tools they need.